did did these people look like this for you all? Yes. Yep. It's quite the posture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Glad to well, see I wasn't the only one. Yeah, Graham, like I said in the group chat, uh, I shouldn't have brought so much food. There was clearly plenty of cake here to begin with. <laughs> I missed that. Incredible. <laughs> Deep in the swamps of Mauritania, past the towns of Morton and Bergderat, lies the city of Darkmire. It's the capital of the Vampire Kingdom, where the Draken family rules the Eternal Night with an iron fist. People are treated like nothing but cattle, and it's this tyranny that caused the Myrite to rebel against the vampires in the first place. And now, it's time for us to take the fight to them. Hi, I'm Graham. My friends and I set out to complete every quest in Old School RuneScape, so come along as we take it one step at a time. Welcome to Cape Quest. Why, yes, I would love to start a quest that, if I remember correctly, gives a fair bit of um, construction experience. Yeah, 2,000. Nothing to sneeze at. Yeah. With the Myrique settled into their new base, Veliath asks us to make contact with the Myrique chapter in Meyerditch, the slums of Darkmire. Obviously, we can't just waltz into the city full of vampires that see us as nothing more than a walking food truck, so we'll need to find another way in. Yeah. I should probably go get some food from the bank, shouldn't I? I would recommend it. I'm probably over-prepared for the, uh, the five hits, but, like... Yeah, yeah, that we're same. on the other side of the ghasts. There's no reason not to just bring some spare food. Yep. Come here, cakes. There's a furnace here, but is there an anvil here? No, of course not. Of course not. They can never have those in the same places, and it is some stupid game design. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they gotta give us reasons to go to all the cool places. If only they had to actually try and think of reasons instead of just forcing us to do it to be able to skill. <laughs> Sorry, do I sound bitter? <laughs> uh, hey, hey, Connor, how do you feel about farming? Farming patch distributions? Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of dreading when we have to train farming. I hope there we've it goes. earned at least a couple pieces of the agility set by then. Alright, here we go into the Vampire City. Or at least we... the slums of the Vampire City. I mean, it... like... Vampire slums actually sounds like it would be, like, somewhat classy. <laughs> <laughs> like, um... like, I'd imagine, like, no worse than, say, like, Cleveland or something. It, it actually, uh, very, very fitting. Ooh, looking for level oh, 110 enemies. Oh no, are we are we going to Cleveland? Yeah, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> the Boy, setting of this quest is very Cleveland-esque. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at the look at the fire watch. But not too closely because you don't want to draw their attention. I I forgot that they just like actually have the bite marks, and apparently this person also has a nosebleed somehow. Uh, uh huh. Even though they are like so drained of blood that they are actually pale. <laughs> nope, I got caught. Uh, don't worry, that's gonna happen to all of us on this quest probably. But yeah, welcome, welcome to Darkmire. It is um, poopy. It's basically just Cleveland, like. It's, it's just Cleveland. Come on down to Cleveland town, everyone. Come and look at both of our buildings. <laughs> Love that video. So good. Both of them are. But yeah, I, I have a huge soft spot for the, like, yes, this is our city, and if you follow a very strange uh, urban exploring slash parkour route uh you can get to places that aren't street accessible where all the uh all the cool people hang out <laughs> like that kind of aesthetic our inquiries lead us to old man Rao, who after a bit of buttering up tells us that the myrite can be found in sector three that doesn't mean much to us but the real answer is that the hideout is in the center of the city by the eastern wall Meyer ditch is a maze of decrepit buildings that we're going to have to wind our way through to get anywhere so we've got a bit of a hike ahead of us. Ah. <laughs> no, 
go away. Fuck. Thank you for your sacrifice, sir. We appreciate you. Yeah. I saw them, like, start looking at me when I walked in to talk to uh, the guy, and I was just like, oh, no. Yeah, this extremely disjointed um, path that we have to follow is just, like, the coolest thing in this game. <laughs> it really is. Okay, it's not actually the coolest thing in the game, but it is very cool. Like, I am a big fan. Is it instanced? Like, if I push over the walls, do you see it? Uh, no. Oh, it is instanced. I, yeah. Gotcha. It's more fun that way. Can you imagine trying to navigate this without the guide, though? No. I'd hate it. Yeah. There is a way to tell, but it is... It would take so much longer. Yeah, there's that cool sickle symbol near everything. Yeah, you basically just follow that. Since the, uh, the sickle is the symbol of the Myrik. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. I, I was always surprised they never put an agility course in here. It'd be so fun. Right? Like, it's weird just having this all be, like, one-time agility experience. I mean, we're gonna be, uh, depending on how much the next quest has changed, we will be doing this a lot. Ah. Yeah, because navigating, <laughs> navigating just about anywhere in Darkmire is like this. You know, because it's just the rundown slums of a vampire city full of things that they see as, like, people that they just see as walking, uh, walking chip bags. Mmm, <laughs> potato chips. That so everything is run down to a frankly ridiculous degree. <laughs> just like chip bags in my house. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this was Mark was weird. Like, I understand what it wanted us to do now, but I was staring at that for, like, a solid ten seconds. Confused. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Definitely, definitely is a bit strange. Yeah, but I, I, I have learned that uh, bags of chips cannot exist in the same space as me for very long. So anyway, Lay's uh, temporarily brought over their Canadian ketchup flavor chips, and they're incredible. Highly, highly really? recommend Yes. I need to try them. It always They're... struck me as a weird flavor, but then again, so does basically every potato chip flavor when you think about it. You, you remember, like, pizza Pringles? Oh, yeah, I love pizza Pringles. Yeah. Imagine an even better version of that. Impossible. Because it tastes like lovely, tangy tomato. That's it. It, it, it. I don't know. If you like ketchup with your french fries, you'll like this. That's great. <laughs> I wish I had some. I'm hungry. I, I, I have developed a serious fondness for um, salt and vinegar almonds. Yep. Love those. Oh, yeah. I've had those before. Yeah. They're they good. are quite tasty. All right. Well, congr <laughs> congratulations. We made it to the uh, Meyer. <laughs> we made it to the Meyer hideout in Dark Meyer. Yay. That took so long. It is a long route. Ah. <sighs> And it's really it, like I said, if this were RuneScape, yeah, I was gonna say it's dark and dingy, and there are a lot fewer NPCs than I remember. Hello, person with the name I am not going to attempt to pronounce. Vertina Cephalatus, the only Myrique member who seems to be in at the moment, is naturally suspicious of us when we first show up. After mentioning Velief and the events in Bergerat, however, he opens up and gives us a message that'll prove the Meyer Ditch chapter is still alive and kicking. Now all we need to do is backtrack through that maze of buildings. Wait, I've... the Blisterwood tree still exists? Uh, yes, they did work the Blisterwood tree back in. Nice. Branches of Darkmire was a cool quest in RuneScape 3. That was really fun. Yes, I believe it is... Uh, so what it seems like they do with some of these quest lines that have gotten, like, long continuations in RuneScape 3, they, like take the parts of those quests they like and rework them into new quests. Mm -hmm. Which is especially exciting given that just recently, at the time of recording anyway, they announced that both Defender of Varrock and Wild Gothic Sleeps are on the docket this year for 
old school RuneScape remasters. And if you're not familiar with those, those are two really fun quests. In fact, I would consider While Guthic Sleeps possibly the best quest in RuneScape 3. I mean, I haven't done all of them, but that one was quite good. So I'm very excited to see how they tackle those two. Yeah, the Myreed quest line is just very good. Especially if you're, you know, somebody who likes gothic horror, vampires, the usual. The one I'm really oh, interested no. in is um, A Night at the Theater. Oh, yeah. Because uh, that one's a tutorial for a raid. And I think is the last quest in this quest line. It's either A Night at the Theater or Sins of the Father is the last one. Oh, no, my cakes. Yeah, of course I, it I Oh, fool. yeah. I am a fool. Of course it caught one of my cakes and not one of the loaves of... Not one of the nine loaves of bread in my inventory. No. Thank you. Go down. Run. And then I hope I can make it to the... I'm probably losing one cake. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe I made it through safely. I did. My cakes are intact. We take the message back to Veliev, who has no clue how to help the other chapter out at the moment. While he figures out what to do, he sends us up to the temple at Patterdomus. Apparently there have been some strange happenings, and he wants us to investigate. Given the last time we were sent to investigate it, it turned out some evil priests were attempting to corrupt the river, we should probably do as he says. Uh, what's the fastest way to get to Drezzle? Fairy Stupid ring. question. Stupid question. It's always the fairy ring. <laughs> always Ardun teleport. <laughs> this one cloak is like the linchpin holding this entire thing together. A, B, C, Graham. Always be caping. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's called Cape Quest because we're going for the uh, Quest Point Cape. No called cape quest because of these this thing <laughs> no it's just cape quest <laughs> not a quest for a cape it is a quest needing a cape <laughs> uh, it's ridiculous just how valuable this this stupid cape is <laughs> right all right there's hylic uh hylic mina there's a cool mini game you can do uh Kind of back and forth between Bergdorot and Paterdomus. Oh, yeah. It's not a fast way to get through everything, but it is a way to get through everything with a reward. Dressel informs us that he's been hearing weird noises outside the temple, and when we go to investigate, we're knocked out by a couple of surprise werewolves. Now, I would argue that surprise werewolves are the worst kind of werewolves, but in a stroke of luck, they decide to leave us where we're napping. Werewolves on this side of the river is a real problem, though, since the river is supposed to stop all that. So we go to speak to the king. I hate this man. Who, King Rold? No, his advisor. Because of course. Come on, Connor, you know Miss Thalin is about the most incompetent country here. It absolutely is. Oh, I take that back. Out of the one, two... Three if you count Berthorpe. Four if you count Alcurid. There are like six countries in RuneScape, or seven <laughs> countries in RuneScape. Uh, so it's not like there's a lot of stiff competition. Speaking to the king goes absolutely nowhere. While the king himself is eager to defend his citizens against the encroaching danger, his advisor talks him out of it, since they don't know if the people are staunch Ceridominists and Taking action might break the Gothixian edicts that are keeping the world from spiraling into another god war. His advisor also immediately dismisses our claim out of hand, and the king is too spineless to do anything about it. While the advisor has, I'd say, half a good point here, this is always my issue in fantasy writing, with things that are intended to keep the balance between good and evil. We know that our claim is correct. We lived it. Because we know this, we also know that the balance has already been broken, but the advisor is so afraid of being seen as the one to tip the scales and so disdainful of adventurers 
He refuses to even entertain that we might be telling the truth. Just like that one true neutral character in every D&D game, he'd rather cover his ears and pretend nothing is happening, rather than spare the minimal effort to verify any of what we've told him. Now, I'm not complaining that this is bad writing itself. It's a very well-established trope that's a reliable source of conflict, and his attitude is in keeping with how all of the Ceridominist factions in RuneScape have been characterized. Really, all I'm saying with this rant is just throw the whole advisor out and go kick down Draken's door already. <laughs> I, feel so, I feel so bad. Like, we're doing all of this to get a cape, specifically when the best cape in the world has, always, has been with us all along. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's the message we get to learn at the end of all of this. Oh yes, the real cape was the friends we made along the way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially because we're, if correct me if I'm wrong, Graham, but we're going to have to complete all of the Artoon Achievement Diary. Uh, I think we do, we do everything up to medium, and I think we do a couple of them too hard. I don't think we go any further than that. No, I was, for some reason I was assuming that was necessary for the no, quest cape. No, no, you don't need to do that. I'm only mildly sad. I mean, we absolutely can, just like we technically don't have to run the raids, but like, I, I, I know I, us. <laughs> I would just love to see Kate Chan reach her uh, maximum potential. That is such a cursed statement, thank you. You're welcome. Right. <laughs> um, I'm going to run and grab a soda while I'm following you, Cam. I'll be right back. Also, I just realized something a little... A little crazy to me, at least. Oh. Um, as of this week, we will hit the nine-month mark for me posting Cape Quest videos on YouTube. Nice! We're not doing so bad. <laughs> or maybe that was last week. I don't remember which week <laughs> episode 36 was. Uh, my headset cut off. At, um, as of what? Uh, so I can't remember if it was as of this week, like, this coming Wednesday or last Wednesday, we hit the nine month mark for me posting Cape Quest videos on YouTube. Oh damn! Nice. Yeah. I joined what about a month into it? I think. Uh, yeah, you joined on week four. Gotcha. <laughs> because um. Oh no, my cakes! <laughs> How do I keep forgetting to deposit them? Oh, please, I'm just a poor little baker, no. <laughs> but yeah, because uh, I think episode four was the one where you got introduced. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm just an arc character that joins on. <laughs> <laughs> you were a crowd favorite, so uh, you were at the top of the popularity poll, so we decided to keep you. Super! <laughs> I, I love reading... Uh, reading manga through the Viz app and seeing, like, popularity polls from years ago, and I'm sitting there like, this explains a lot. <laughs> and then you'll get other ones where you look and you're like, half these characters had, like, five panels of screen time. Why are they here? Honestly, my... Like Honestly, my question for just every level of that chart is just, why is this number not Bonclay? <laughs> <laughs> I there's a joke I want to make but it's massive spoilers for a popular anime so I'm not going to mm -hmm. that's fair can you say which anime <laughs> that genuinely Sorry. might Sorry. even be too much of a spoiler so hey, I will message hey, you hey, uh, um, mm -hmm. uh, was it going to be something along the lines of using a popularity poll as a hit list Yes, it was exactly <laughs> that. Oh, God. <laughs> Incredible. I know what you were going to say. Everyone's dead and I'm not okay. <laughs> we return to Velief to get him up to speed on everything that's happened. In turn, he asks us to inform the Meyerditch chapter and see if we can help out in any way. Fortunately for us, we have a new way of getting to the hideout. Rather than giving a blood tithe when we get caught, we can now get volunteer to be sent to the mines. Not only does this help preserve our health, it also gets us very close to the base when we get out. Bertita understandably isn't thrilled with the news, but tells us that there is something that we can do to help out. 
But my reek is trying to get some intel on Castle Draken, so when the time comes, they'll know what they're getting themselves into. And the leader of the chapter, Safalan, asks us to sketch the castle. Certainly seems easy enough. But yeah, I'm very excited for Viper. Viper seems really fun. I just like the idea of a, a melee DPS that, again, has a lot of OGCDs. Oh, hey, oh. it's the update advanced from Klaus. I... <laughs> did did these people look like this for you all? Yes. Yep. It's quite the posture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Glad to what? see I wasn't the only one. Yeah, Graham, like I said in the group chat, uh, I shouldn't have brought so much food. There was clearly plenty of cake here to begin with. <laughs> I missed that. Incredible. <laughs> Unfortunately, our efforts catch the attention of Vanstrom Klaus, who toys with us for a bit before knocking us out cold with a Shoryuken. We're saved by a sudden spat of politics and carry on with our mission before we can stop to think about how often that's been able to be said before. Now we're in the home stretch, and we start with a little bit of a sequence break. Using a knife on an otherwise inconspicuous chimney, we find a hidden message about an equally hidden laboratory. Normally, Safalan's supposed to give us a hint about this after we give him the sketches, but you don't actually need to wait. But we take that message and the sketches back to Safalan, and he tasks us with finding that laboratory, and seeing what we can find there. It's mostly ransacked, but we do pick up a book that I suspect is about how the vampires were created. Powerful knowledge, if true, but we're going to have to wait to find out. For now, we return to Veliuf with one final report, and that is quest complete. And that's where we're going to end things for today. As always, this is just one of my favorite quests. I mean, I love the vampire quest line. It's got that fantastic gothic horror and also like the urban exploration kind of angle to it. But this one's just really well written. And for a while at least, we can kind of relax after this, because it'll be a bit before we have any more stressful quests to do. Which is good, because we need to use the reward that we got from this quest on Herblore, and we won't have enough Herblore for it for several weeks. It's supposed to be after one of the more dangerous quests we're going to do. So yeah, get used to seeing that book in my inventory. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you had as much fun with this one as I did making it, and I will catch you in the next one.